Welcome to Biker's Toolbox. I am Ralph and in this video John and myself will show you how to repair and upgrade a strip thread using a helicoil kit in an old cylinder head, which is easier than you might imagine. This time I'm on the tools and John is cameraman. Firstly you take the drill bit from the kit and fit it in a suitable drill. For convenience sake we're using a battery powered hand drill. The most important thing is to ensure that you have the drill straight and in line with the original hole. If you don't have my years of experience, get a friend to help you with an engineer's square to sight you in. Next you take the tap from the kit and fit it in a suitable tap wrench. The one I am using here is not a top quality expensive one but is very nice to use and although I have dozens to choose from, I really like this one, which is why we offer them in our online shop. As with the drill, you must ensure that the tap is completely square and straight. You should use cutting oil on the tap, which will make it cut far more easily and last longer. In the absence of any cutting oil, engine oil or 3-in-1 will be better than nothing. When tapping any thread, you must turn the tap so far, then turn the tap backwards until you feel the cut material break off. Then you can cut further. If you don't, the cut material, or swarf, can jam the tap, which may cause it to break off, and that really will leave you with a big problem. Just take it slowly and never force anything. You'll soon get the knack. Spray some cleaner in the hole, I'm using IPA here, and then blow out the hole with an airline if you have one. Although we're going to use the full helicoil thread repair kit with pre-wind insertion tool for this tutorial, we are showing you here how to fit an insert onto an eco kit insertion tool. Fit the back stop and secure with an allen key or hex driver and ratchet tool as we're doing here then simply slide the insert on with the tang outermost. With the full kit you disassemble the pre-wind tool, select an insert and screw it onto the end of the inside part of the tool until the tang prevents it going any further. Next, insert this part into the outer barrel and screw it into the tool using the little T-bar until the insert just starts to poke out of the end. Line up the end of the tool with the hole that has just been tapped and start turning the T-bar and the tool will start to insert the helicoil. Keep turning the T-bar until the outer tool is released and you can lift it and see the last bit of the insert entering the threaded hole. Keep turning until you are sure that the end of the insert is well clear of the surface and is entirely held in place by the thread. Now turn the T-bar anti-clockwise to remove the tool. The last job is to remove the tang with a small hammer and pin punch or the supplied tool. This is very easy, but if you don't, it will cause some serious damage, especially in a blind hole. I hope that you found this video useful. It was shot in my own workshop with my old friend John Hopkins, on camera this time. We have in excess of 30 years of motorcycle fettling experience each. We both have hobby businesses repairing and building bikes to help finance our own bike collections.